What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we're going to be reacting to a bunch of different cryptids and letting you know if uh, we're down to smash. And guys, this video is obviously a joke. Also, stay until the end of the video to figure out who we would wife up out of all these cryptids. Oh, smash! Dude, what? Smash! I haven't even started! Do these things have genders? Skinwalkers are supernatural medicine men who have received supernatural powers by breaking a cultural taboo. These skinwalkers have the ability to shapeshift into any mammal or steal the face of a person. They can siphon energy and mimic the voice of loved ones. What's up, guys? Skinwalkers can shapeshift into anything. That means they could do anything to you. That's not a bad thing. Key word in the overview, medicine men. This raises the stakes. Didn't say no, hey yo. He didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so after learning that they're men, they have all these powers, still down to smash? Well, if they can shapeshift into anything and sound like anyone, I'll probably smash that. Double smash. Double smash in these skinwalking skin men. Skinwalking men. <laughs> Loveland frog. <laughs> I'm f***ing that thing. Before we even know what it is, you're like, I'm f***ing that thing. Well, dude, look at the height. Do some slime action in there, and then you put the party book on Have you thought about this before? Holy shit, man. I don't know if I'm gonna recover from that one. <laughs> no, we haven't even like looked at any other faces. Nothing. What if it kills people? Oh no! Spotted three times between 1955 and 1972, a police officer in 1972 saw a four foot frog crossing the road at night. Four feet. Four feet. Perfect height. Frog like jumping ability, but can run like a man. <laughs> What is this frog's gender? Does it matter? Does it matter? Then it only lives in Ohio. We can go to Loveland, Ohio ASAP. Oh! Ooh, I don't oh know! Oh god! That. that guy looks like yeah. Jar Jar Binks. Oh my god, look at that! Hey. Ah. She's thick! That is a smash! Smash every day of the week. Alright, so both smashing that? I think we have to. Right. At this point, come on. Mothman! Yeah! It's another man. I know. There's going to be a lot of men today. A Mothman is a winged humanoid first spotted in the late 60s. Popularized by the Mothman Prophecies book in 1975 and a movie in 2002. It's seven feet tall, has a 15 foot wingspan, can fly extremely fast, and cause psychological distress for months after a sight. Let's just say you're kind of, I don't know, into somebody. And then they said, I'm seven feet tall. You are going to be dominated. <laughs> Yeah, especially because, like, if you think about it, do these things have hands and wings? Yes. <laughs> so, like... They could be here and surrounding you from the backside. So there's no way to escape. Dude, smash! Do you want that? You can't escape. I'm starting to feel like you're into some weird <laughs> shit, brother. This one's terrifying. <laughs> I'm passing. I just don't know if I can do it. Too much to handle. <laughs> Too much, dude. That seven foot tall thing? Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oh tempting. my god. It is tempting. Got kind of bad. Well, this is called an Akurokumui. And it's found in Japan. This is said to be a cursed creature to have eaten ships and attacked sailors. Massive human and octopus hybrid. 120 meters in line? Oh! oh my god, I thought she was like our height. Oh my god, imagine trying to tackle that. Dude, that is bigger than a football field. Holy shit. I don't even know where you'd begin to try to please that woman. You can't. You can't. I hear through the grapevine that big is not always better. I'm gonna have to pass. I just think that might be too big. I'm passing that too. I was gonna smash that first picture though. If you wanna see us do a part two, get this to 50,000 likes and we might, and <laughs> might do another one. Oh my god! What is that? Uh, mopping warrior. Why does that look like Mike Wazowski if he didn't shave? I think it is Mike Wazowski, but imagine the belly being the mouth. Ooh. So this thing is a former shaman punished by the gods for discovering immortality. One eye on top with a mouth for a stomach. Protects the rainforest, punishes pillagers who take excess natural resources. And it lives in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. Ooh. So would you like... It's well, mouth? Well, yeah, it's like, does it have other holes? <laughs> Let's see other pictures. Right. Oh, my oh God. that is so scary. That's giant. Muscular, too. I, oh, God! I don't know. Dude, that looks massive. That looks like it was 20 meters tall. That second picture, though, with the muscles kind of got me, like, going a little bit. So, I, I mean, what that giant mouth do, though? I'm a smash. 
I'll be passing that thing. What? Passing it to you, man. Take it. Oh, I'll take it. Take right. Mike Wazowski. Oh, the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil. First reported in 1735, the legend says that this is an offspring of a suspected witch who cursed her 13th child. This New Jersey Devil has a goat's head, bat wings, hooves, and a snake's tail. It can move extremely quickly, can breathe fire, and screams at high-pitched noises to escape danger. Ah! You think he's coming? Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. This guy is a badass. Mm. Let's see a couple more pics of this beast. There's not many. Oh, you could easily ride that ride shit. It. Smash and ride. I think I would want to ride it like a horse. But I don't know if I'd want to ride it the other way. Yeah, I'd put like a muscle on it and then like make it my pet. It's kind of kinky. Uh, I'm still not smashing it though. Guys, we are proud to announce Explore Club 2.0! Guys, this is where you're gonna get exclusive content, behind the scenes, podcasts, iPhone videos, and much more. All the stuff we can't post on YouTube because it's X-rated. Just kidding, only half of it is. Maybe like two thirds. The biggest update with Explore Club 2.0 is our community feature where we can all get to know each other better. Better. But the best part is if you join Explore Club right now, you're gonna have a chance to come and hang out with Sam and I. You heard that right, guys. We're doing another fan fly out. This will be the only time this year. So click the link to join Join Explore Club 2.0. We'll see you in there. Back to the video. The Loch Ness Monster, how are- how? Dude, what does that neck do? Sightings go back as far as the 6th century. Sea serpent 20 feet long, one of the most infamous cryptids of all time. It's been mostly avoided being seen for millions of years. And it lives in Loch Ness, Scotland. Okay, it's only 20 feet long. 20 feet long is still a giant. 20 feet, you can kind of handle it. Okay, well there's its head. There's its head. I mean, dude, it could be in the water, you could be outside the water. That's that true. is a fucking dinosaur. Smash your pet. I don't know if you can even smash that if you tried. I just want to try. Where? <laughs> In Scotland. So you're smashing it? I'm trying to smash. A chupacabra! A chupacabra! Those things are ugly. There have been over 2,000 sightings since 1995. Really? 2,000 sightings? Either appearing reptilian or as a ragged looking wolf like creature. It's known for draining all the blood from livestock and large animals without even eating its carcass. Usually found in southwestern USA, Puerto Rico, Mexico, or Paraguay. So if it can drain blood, do you think it can drain other things? Oh, definitely. So this thing's suck game is on another level. This is the greatest suck game you'll ever <laughs> see. Oh, God! I would definitely pass that. No matter how good your suck game, if you look like that, uh-uh. Oh, but you would, <laughs> you would fuck the Loch Ness Monster. That Loch Ness Monster has a crazy neck game. That's true. All right, well, we're both passing this ugly little rat dog looking sucking creature. Lizard man of scape or swamp. All right. Man. Now, this is a scaled seven foot tall humanoid that chases people and locals try to hunt it. This is spotted in South Carolina. That guy looks like he could dominate. Yeah. I don't know about it. I don't know about that guy. That seems scary. I'll keep my little frog guy, but that big lizard guy. Mm -hmm. So there's a limit to the reptilians. Big lizard man. Oh, God, no. Too much to handle. A giant rooster. Originally depicted on Midwestern postcards in the 30s through 70s, now raised by Brazilian farmers selling four feet tall roosters for 4,000 euro each. It's a giant rooster, that's it, and... Oh! oh! paranormal! Oh! Should we just leave it like that? Oh, he's gonna leave it like that. Why is it only in Brazil? Yeah. Are the big <laughs> only in Brazil? Probably. They are. They are. Oh, oh my god, dude! Talk about neck game. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> bro, they got thick thighs. Those too, muscular. Man. Oh my god. I'm fucking. I man. gotta fuck that guy. <laughs> hey, yo, that was. <laughs> Guys, we thought this was a good video at first, and now I'm gonna be scarred forever. Who's your cryptid bay? If I could choose first, I'm taking that little frog, and I'm making it my bay. The frog. The frog. <laughs> If I had to pick, honestly, Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> what? I just feel like that would be legendary. I got a fire cock. I'd fuck a cock.